So now we're looking at separable differential equations. These have the form of some function of y, let's call it n of y, times dy dx is equal to some other function, but of x only, we'll call it m of x. Um, now the way that we solve these is we just multiply both sides by dx, um, so we can have n of y dy is equal to m of x dx. Then all we have to do now to solve this is take the integral of both sides, just go like this, go like that, and hopefully once we work through this we'll take the, the integral of the left side with respect to y, and we'll take the integral of the right side with respect to x, and then yeah, hopefully we'll be able to isolate y, put y on one side and everything else on the other, and get an explicit solution. But often with the separable problems, we'll actually get x uh, implicit solutions, but that's okay. Um, another way that these are commonly written is actually, I'll write it here too. We have dy dx is equal to m of x over n of y. All right, so that's all they've done here is they've just divided both sides by n of y, but often you see it written like this. So let's do an example. Uh, we still have time. So say we have, um, let's say we have an equation that looks like this. Here, we'll change colors. We have dy dx is equal to x plus 2 times y squared. But when we first look at this, we can't put it in the linear first order form. That won't work. We could try, but it won't work. Um, so what we need to do, actually, is just rearrange it so it looks like this. So we'll divide both sides by y to get the function of y on one side. So we will have 1 over y squared dy. And then we'll multiply both sides by dx to get the x's and the dx on the same side. So we'll get x plus 2 dx. So there we go. So now we're seeing actually our function n of y when it's in this form is 1 over y squared. So really here uh, it's not being divided by y squared but this is the same thing if we wanted to write it in this form we could say x plus 2 over 1 over y squared 1 over y squared and that's the same thing as x plus 2 times y squared. <clears throat> so, anyways, we can get back to this. Uh, now we can take the integral of both sides. And we will get, this is the integral of y to the minus 2, so we will get y, 1 over y times negative 1 is equal to, well, this will become 1 half x squared plus 2x. And we'll just lump all of the integration constants over on this side, plus c. Now all we have to do is take the inverse of both sides and multiply them by negative 1. So we'll get y is equal to negative 1 over 1 half x squared plus 2x plus c. And this right here, this is our general solution for this differential equation. If we were given some initial conditions, we could easily solve for what this arbitrary constant c is. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video and we'll do some more examples.